Hey guys, hope you are well. Um, I previously made a video on how to set up AI task scheduling um, that would automatically pull in all of your tasks from Notion and, and put them onto your, your calendar. Uh, and it was a little bit complicated to set up. You were integrating a lot of different APIs and you had to have like a, a three-way sync between different calendar apps in order to get it to, to work. Basically, it was, it was quite complicated to set up. There's now a far more simple uh, and far more elegant um, solution that like anyone can set up in about 20 minutes or half an hour. So this is a tool called AMI, A-M-I-E. Uh, I'll put a link, link down below. Um, that has quickly become like my favorite, uh, favorite calendar app of all time. Um, it integrates with like Spotify, so you, you'll see some things like um, it shows you what you were listening to at a particular time. It syncs over your sleep tracking from, uh, from Apple Health, if that will, will zoom in. Um, I'll put a screenshot up. It shows me all of my uh, sleep times. Um, it shows me all of my workouts and like my mindful minutes and just kind of embeds them on the calendar by syncing with Apple Health. So it's kind of like a mixes social and work together. So it, it's actually my favorite app at the moment. But they also have released AI task scheduling and they have an integration with Notion. So I'll show you how to set that up in, in a moment. Um, the other thing that I would mention is I've kind of cleared out a lot of my Notion system compared to, to what it used to be. I've gone from having about 50 different databases to having a, about 10. Um, and the reason that I did that is I just found that I was adding so much complexity into the system, having all of these different databases and systems, that it almost became like a full-time, not full-time, but required a lot of effort to kind of maintain the, the system. And of course, if you're building a productivity system, the idea is that the system helps you, not that you're pulled away into kind of uh, maintaining things and making sure that everything's working in order. So I'm going to build from scratch as well a task management system that covers about 80% of, of what, what I currently do in terms of like the, the Notion system. And we'll really keep it quite simple. Like um, I'm focused quite a lot of my life at the moment on just reducing complexity um, and really having like simple but effective um, solutions. So we'll make a database, we'll make an inline database and we're gonna call this tasks. That is now here, and then we'll turn it into a tasks database. Turn it into tasks database, and we just create these fields. Let me move myself down there. Create these fields, turn into tasks database. Um, okay, we can delete these old fields, delete assignee, uh, or hide assignee. I, I only work from my Notion database for giving tasks to other people. Uh, I generally like to use Asana. Um, due date and, and status. And then we're going to come in and put in two columns. So on the left hand side, we'll have tasks. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to make another database. Uh, we'll do a gallery uh, database, new gallery, and we'll call this project video. Bring that over here. Delete these. And then we'll make a relation so that these two databases can communicate with each other. Project video, uh, show on project video, yeah. So in my last, um, in the last video that I made, um, I gave away like a Notion template. So you can, if you want to, you can just download that and use that for like your uh, project template. Um, so, and we can just call this like project And now we will come in and we will just assign tasks. So task one, task two, task three. Um, yeah, good, good starting point. Um, status not started due. And I think that's all, all we really need at this stage. Um, now, if we come over into Amy, or Amy, I'm not actually sure how to say it properly. So this is like the, the interface. So the first thing that we can do is come down into general. 
and I can set my preferred working times. So the way that I, I kind of structure my day at the moment is in the morning. So from 6 a.m. until 1, I just have like a kind of morning period for, for myself. Uh, I'm doing like a lot of walking at the moment. Like at the moment, I go walking on the beach every single morning, listening to an audiobook or a podcast. And I find it's like a really good way to start the day. Um, then from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m., I just focus on one task that for me is, is like really important to do. Uh, so at the moment, that's often like YouTube videos or uh, uh, updating version three of, of the course. Like I'm, I'm launching something new, but we'll talk about that in another, uh, we'll talk about that very, very soon. Um, and then I have like my focus period, which is from like 2 p.m. until seven, but I would actually reduce that down to be honest. Um, and then in the evenings, I'm like, I just have like my free time. I go for dinner, I see friends, I go and do some activity. Uh, whatever it is. So I have like these three different kind of time blocks um, throughout my day. You can set it up however you want. If you make a new preferred time, you literally just tell it uh, what you want to do. Uh, set up a time window from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Tuesday to Thursday. And it, it will take a minute to, to go through. And then we can choose how long I want the uh, default um, duration of my events to be uh, so an event would be a task basically um, or, or an actual event so it is a fully functional calendar app as well but it just allows you to manage all of your to do's uh, from there so then we have something called lists and lists are, are basically like different categories by the way you can also have your email synced over here as well so I don't use this as my primary email app I still use superhuman but the clever thing that I I've I've kind of found is if I manage all of my emails from Superhuman, I can easily archive and, and unsubscribe from things. And anything that's left in my inbox, it means it's, it's something that needs attention, right? It needs me to take action on it. I can just set this list to AI schedule. So everything that comes into my email inbox that doesn't get archived and is like an, an open email will automatically be synced over onto my calendar to give me time to, to deal with it. Then I have a category for YouTube and I have a category for Notion tasks. Um, I'll, I'll go over in, in, another, in a minute how that's kind of structured. In, in fact, so every single week I do a weekly review. And in that weekly review, I establish my priorities for the upcoming week. What is it that, that I want to get done? Um, and that is then, so these are, are the 20 tasks that, that I want to, to get done this week. Today is an automatically made um thing by them, which uh, is your today task. It's like an automatically generated um, list. And so from here, I can assign my notion tasks. I put in my focus period. So from my 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. window, all of my focus tasks will be automatically um, scheduled in, in that period, right? Um, to do is, uh, you can establish a break between to-dos. You turn on AI scheduling here uh, and everything is put onto your calendar automatically. And then if we go on to integrations, so these are the integrations that are available on the desktop app. So we've got Zoom, Spotify, Notion. If you use any of these tools as well, um, you can integrate them as well. And like I said, on the mobile app, it also integrates with Apple Health. So all of your workouts are automatically synced over onto your calendar. Um, if you do any like meditation, if you track that, it will be synced over as well under mindful minutes. If you do a meeting, if you're wearing an Apple Watch or like a Whoop, it will actually tell you your heart rate variability during that meeting. So you can see if it was like a, a stressful meeting or not. Um, so yeah, really great tool. Um, so we come over into integrations and we come into Notion. Um, why is my database being removed? Strange. Um, so from your workspace, you will just come and select your tasks, um, which isn't on here, your tasks database, and then you can select which list you want to, to sync that over to, like I said earlier. Um, so I would sync over into Notion tasks. Undone status would be uh, not started. Done status would be, uh, would be done. And this has a two-way sync, by the way. So if you schedule a time in Notion, it will automatically add on to your 
calendar at that time. Or if Ami handles the scheduling for you, it will update that time in, in Notion as well. So you can filter only tab items that are assigned to you if you're working with your team in Notion. Personally, I'm not. Uh, and then status, this wording I think was kind of done incorrectly. Um, it will only filter ones that don't match this status. So as I mentioned, every single week I go through and I schedule my, uh, my tasks that I want to complete this week. So I have hundreds of tasks, perhaps maybe like 200 that are in idea or someday maybe. And I don't want to like overflow my calendar with all of those tasks that are like ideas or upcoming tasks. I only want a short list of like 20 tasks that I can just go through uh, over the, the coming week. So I only want to sync tasks in not started. So every single week I go through, I check my ideas and my someday maybe tasks, I add in any new tasks, and if I want to accomplish them this week, I put them as not started status, which means that they'll be synced over. And then I can do sync changes to AMI. Um, and then you would just press start syncing. It will bring them over automatically and it will literally fill out your calendar uh, exactly like, like mine looks at the moment. And when you complete a task, when you complete a task, I can just come here, I can mark it as done. And that will then sync back over to Notion that the, the task has been completed. Um, you can also like kind of manage from here and you can do things like add in sub to do's. You can do time tracking. Uh, if I don't want a task to be auto scheduled, I can just disable it. If I set a hard deadline for the task, it will follow that deadline. I can set how long the task is going to take. Um, so it needs to look for like an open uh, space on, on my calendar that matches that, that period. They also have prioritization as well. So if I, um, why is this not working? Yeah, if I just press here once, it will mark it as a priority, and it will prioritize scheduling that on my um, on my calendar. If I hold it down, it will mark a super priority, and that will get uh, pushed up to the top of my my list. Now they've done really interesting things with like prioritization here. You can only have a maximum of three tasks. In super priority at any time uh, which is is a really good idea but you can have kind of as many as you want just just like a priority task so I, I don't use it too often to be honest um, but like uh, of course if you want to you can um, yeah and that was kind of how easy it was to like we can assign these tasks so that would be project one that would be project one this would be project two um, and honestly, to have a really effective Notion system, the only two other, if you want like 80% effectiveness in something that we've built in, in less than like 20 minutes, the other thing that I would do is a weekly review and I would make that as a database. I'll give away my weekly review template some, some other time but we could make a weekly review there. And so you would go through every single week and schedule what are all the tasks that you want to get done for the upcoming week. And honestly, the only other thing that is really needed is a notes list. So I would have this down as a list. So you now have a notes inbox, you have a weekly review, like you, you can make a template for, for a weekly review. I'll go through my one at another time. And that would be when you go through all of your outstanding um, projects that you have going on. You assign tasks to them. Those And so basically very little of my time now is actually spent operating from within Notion. The only time that I'm working from within Notion is if I'm taking a note, which I normally do from my phone. I have a shortcut here um, that automatically makes them. And then I go every week, I analyze what needs to be accomplished this week. And that is all handled within Notion. I assign the tasks and then everything is automatically synced over onto my calendar. So this is now like my execution zone. The U UX here is just great. UI is really nice, really clean to work with. All of your tasks are here. You can also change the view. So instead of a split view, I can only view my tasks. So it's like just a, a list of tasks. 
or you can view it just as a calendar where the calendar takes up the whole view. They have like um, meeting scheduling as well. You can meet with people in, in your team. Uh, you can share your like av available slots. This is, if you can't tell already, probably my, my favorite app uh, at, at the moment. Um, just, and if they, if they were looking for investors, I would be very keen to do it. Here you can see like all the songs that you were listening to at a particular time. I know if I was listening to Spotify, generally I was in like a focus, uh, a focus zone. I was being very productive and getting things done. Um, yeah, strongly encourage you to, to try it out. What used to be so kind of complex to set up with, with AI task scheduling um, is now like so simple to do and you can just sync over all of your tasks in like a couple of clicks from Notion, have them put on your, your calendar and all you need to worry about is, is execution. So yeah, really, really great tool.